Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me today and trying a new lash glue. This was recommended to me by Sharon. She always finds the best lash finds and this is on Amazon for $15.99. She loved it, so I ended up buying it. I feel like anything she loves, I always love. And the really awesome thing about this lash glue is it's basically the only lash glue that you will ever need because it is double-sided. So it has a white glue on one side with a brush. And this does seem like a stiffer brush, yeah. So it's not like your typical brush with the little hairs. This one's more so like a felt eyeliner tip. And then the other side has a black glue with a micro mascara wand that is a little bit bent. And it's a mini mascara wand, which I love these right here. It makes it so much easier to apply to your natural lashes. So this is what I'm gonna be trying in today's video and just do like a little get ready with me. But first I have to take off my mascara. Once in a while I like to give my lashes a break. I'm gonna grab my remover. This one's from Flutterset and it's nice because it's a dual face formula similar to like a Neutrogena and it removes makeup, eye makeup as well as lash clusters if you have any on. All right, mascara is off. Now I'm gonna grab my Magic Primer here from Amber Lash and this helps get rid of any excess oils because the remover is very oily. The lash glue might have a hard time adhering to your natural lashes, so you want to go in with something that's oil-free, like an oil-free cleanser, and clean up the eye area, get rid of any of those oils, excess oils, so that your lashes are nice and squeaky clean and ready for a new set of lashes. I mapped out one eye, so I have a 14, two 12s, three 10s, just in case, and then on the bottom I have a 14 and two 12s because I might be placing some more on top for extra depth. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is like... Yesterday I went out to Charleston with my sister for the day. I went with her friend, so she was going with her friend and she asked me if I wanted to go and I was like, sure, I've never been to Charleston before. It's beautiful, by the way. But I was like talking and laughing so much and usually if I talk too much, I end up losing my voice. So that's kind of what happened. I'm gonna take the white glue with a brush and I'm gonna brush some on the tops of the lash clusters. You don't need too much, just enough to kind of coat the spine of the lash cluster, the base of the lash cluster. I apply it to all the clusters because I usually work pretty fast at this point. I've been doing lashes for three years. If you work a little bit slower, you can definitely just apply glue to one cluster at a time and work one cluster at a time. Then I'm gonna take the other glue, the black one with the little mini bent micro mascara wand, and this one I'm gonna apply across the base of my natural lashes. You don't wanna swipe it through like mascara because it's gonna make your lashes clump together. Nobody wants that, it can get messy. And it seems like this glue has tackiness right from the get-go. Like right now I'm going like this and I can feel that it already has a pretty good grip. So it seems promising. Grab my 14. I'm gonna place it a few lashes away from the edge. If I place it way too close to the edge, usually the edge lifts the fastest for me. Then I'm gonna grab my next cluster. This is a 12 millimeter. And this one I'm gonna overlap just a smidge because when I overlap, it prevents any gaps in between the lashes and just makes for a much, much more seamless look. So that's a 12. I'm gonna do another 12 and some 10s and kind of repeat this process all the way across. And to add a little bit more depth and kind of help these mesh together better because I feel like that 14 kind of really sticks out. I'm gonna place some more clusters on top to the outer corner. So I have these three here, a 14 and two 12s, and I'm gonna grab my glue with a brush. So far, I really like this glue. It seems very, very easy to work with. It has tackiness basically right from the get-go, so it seems very promising. I'm just interested to see how long it will last. I'm gonna grab my 14 millimeter cluster, and this one I'm gonna place in between the 14 and the 12 kind of help blend all those fibers together because I feel like the 14 really sticks out and I don't like it. And just place it right on top. And then I'm gonna grab my 12 and place that one right next to that. But let me go ahead and pinch everything together. This glue is not too wet, so it should stay secure. Okay guys, here's the end result. The glue I would probably buy it right now and it does say which glue is which on the sides here. I like that the formula is not too wet, it gets tacky right away, very easy to work with and I'm not feeling any stickiness at all. I'm interested to see how it's going to do in the heat because there are lash glues like Lilac Shade for example I've noticed 
when it when it's hot outside it almost gets re-sticky like it gets sticky again and i and i hate that when i'm sitting outside and i'm like man my lashes feel so sticky but if you do any, feel any stickiness just grab a lash sealant and what i like to do is apply some to the insides of a lash applicator kind of coat the inside prongs and then go ahead and pinch everything together that way you're kind of coating the tops and bottoms of your lashes do not run the sealant through like mascara because it's going to coat it in this weird waxy film now i'm going to do the rest of the face and i want to do something very simple since we're going to be at the water park i already did my brows i never tried this combo here but i'm going to try the physician's butter glow which i love this liquid bronzer here but i'm going to try it with the ilia skin tint which has spf in it i'm going to apply this with the liquid bronzer together for like a nice glowy look this liquid bronzer though is so good. I have the Drunk Elephant Bronzer and then I have the Burst Drops, the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. And out of those three, this is definitely my favorite. It has a beautiful color to it and it doesn't really have as much shimmer as the other two. Now I'm going to use a little bit of concealer just to kind of brighten up the under eyes and the inner corner of my eyes where there's a little bit of blueness. Just a bit. Why, why is this camera always focusing on my pillow? Like what is going on? my pillow that important okay and that's literally it i think i'm gonna set my face as well but that's kind of my quick get ready with me i gotta get the kids ready and pack like a change of clothes and all of that but i am gonna test out how this glue is gonna hold up i think you guys will love it as well but i will report at the end of the day to kind of share how it held up this is about day five with this glow and overall i am very impressed they held up fairly well considering we go to the pool almost every single day. I usually don't get my lashes wet today. I did with goggles on. I usually always wear goggles because I feel like lashes get kind of funky when you get them wet and then you have to brush them out. This is not like lash extensions, so I just prefer not to get them wet. I do the same thing in the shower. I just kind of tilt my head back and try not to, to get them wet. Well, obviously sometimes water does drip on them. Not a big deal, but it held up well. I didn't find that they got sticky in the humidity because sun glues, as I mentioned, when I'm sitting outside and it gets really hot and humid, they start the glue starts to get sticky and that really bothers me this one didn't do that it dried really fast got tacky right away has pretty good hold i would say it's more gentle than other glues i've tried like the malucci glue that one was like once it's on it's on it's pretty secure and i know sometimes some people want that but i feel like this is less damaging for the lashes it just seems like a more forgiving gentle formula but it still has pretty good hold you get the best of both worlds not only do you have a black and clear glue in one you also have the brush tip and the micro mascara one overall love it would recommend it i'll link it down below thank you to sharon for letting me know about it and just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on it as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was helpful thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in future videos